Okie dokie. We are to speak with Gav, but first... We have to play with Torgal. But also... Pet Torgal. Because we can't begin an episode without doing that. Uh, let's go. I think we're already done here with everything. I did turn up the brightness to a 9 instead. I think it'll look fine. I mean, on my monitor it looks a little bit too bright. But I think uh, when uploading it, it'll look much better and not as dark. Uh, while the cat's away. Ah, okay, let's do that one first and then continue with the main quest. I do need to do all of these side missions. It's done for. I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're gonna kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, please help them. All righty right. then. I'll see to your problem. Thank you. Good How thing you didn't there? stay. I was out of the door too fast to count. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, all right? I mean, good thing she did run away, because she has no weapons. That we know of. Maybe kitchen where? Let's go inside. Ha! Golden stables my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you of it? Oh, does it look heavy? It's pretty light for me. Get him, lads. I want that plate. Let's get this over with. <laughs> that's enough. I think they're being a little bit too cocky while they're getting absolutely... <laughs> Explained. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he is! The hero of the Golden Stables! People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. And there'll be you a don't really need to pay waiting me. for you whenever you next stop by. Right, we've got work to do for her to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. <laughs> Let's run now. <laughs> no cleaning duties, please. Let's just run for it. Clive, fast! <laughs> Yeah, he was pretty fast. Hmm? Of the hour. You're the one who saw off the bandits, aren't you? Martha was singing your praises. Ah, takes a brave man to march into danger out of the goodness of his heart. You have my respect. A Rosarian salute. Well, what is it they say? 
Old habits die hard. I trust you won't be reporting me to the Vicerine. <laughs> if we'd had a few more like you about, perhaps the Rosfields might still... <laughs> Listen to me rambling on. Thank you again, and, uh... Take care of yourself. Yep. I'm gonna take care of myself. Uh, and Torgal and everyone else. Now let's just go back to the hideaway. And see what will happen once I talk with Gav. Mm, nothing else in here. And nothing on the map. Still reeling from the atrocity they witnessed at Eastpool. One ordered by none other than Clive's own mother, the Empress Annabella. Clive and Jill return to the hideaway to consult with Sid as to what might be done. Well, probably kill Annabella. She is not on my favorite list. He's probably one of the most evil villains in Final Fantasy history. Wicked Wheel. I really liked Garuda. Ooh, look at his pedigree. Do you want to switch something? Scarlet Cyclone. Willow Wikes. Summon a storm of fireballs that circle about Clive, damaging nearby targets. Uh, but it also seems to, to absorb. Absorbing damage, yeah. That is good, actually. Very good. And this one! It can be used in midair. Ooh. You want all three of those. Well, I shouldn't be on the menu for too long because I can just reset everything. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Yes. Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then? Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail? Well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Freed still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, Prime and Icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northreach in a few days. You two behave now. I so love their dynamic. Bye, Gav. But we kind of have to leave you since it's gonna be a big mission and don't want you to get hurt since you don't have a dominant. So it's for the better. So, we're meeting in Northreach. 
And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? Who is this dame? Is she like an In assassin? Case the boys finally cleared the road to Northreach. But there's no need to hurry, is there? I can think of a few reasons you might want to linger another night or two. I have a wife! Huh. The audacity! Is it because Jill is not with me Sunset right now? Fast. Because if she were, you'd be slapped across the entire... I take it you're not here for a ...to Walud. Ooh, ask about... Well, ooh, I need to do all of these. Uh, now that she has lost much of her fertile farmland in the east to the Bly, the Empire leans heavily on the fields of the royal mid meadows to feed her citizens. I wonder... How many harvests remain before we are forced to look elsewhere for sus sustenance? Sustenance? Ask about Lost Wing... When I arrived... Lost Wing was no more than a collection of tottering hovels huddled in the shadow of ancient hubris. Hubris? Yes, I think that's it. The ideal place, in short, for one who sought to escape the watchful gaze of the Empire. Yet? It was not until I had finished my survey of the neighboring hills that I realized the true value of this place. Hmm. To the soil rich, the water plentiful, and the sun strong, to wit a most suitable environ for the growing of wine grapes. Oh, you making wine? I think he already said something like that. And so it proved for our vintages, now grace dining halls from the free cities to the frigid north. Are we gonna get some of those, that soda or not? What is that now? Some would call me mayor, others master. The people of Lost Wing know the truth. The truth. As for my relationship with Sid, suffice I to say that he and I share certain mutual interests which have brought us together. The business, you mean? Or something else? I don't know. We are allies of convenience, nothing more. I scratch his back, he scratches mine. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. But why didn't you give us a better bed, though? And neither of us lingers over long on the details. He just wants us to it's sleep on the floor. floor. I'm gonna hold that to him. Letting us sleep on the floor, two handsome men. And now let's make it for Northreach. Is it safe to ride to Northreach now? I wouldn't Can say I? safe, but at least now it's possible. Can I get a chocobo, please? No one wants to give me a chocobo. Okay, I'll just run there with my own two legs. Hmm. That's fine. I'm not gonna be tired by the time I'm at North Reach. I'm not bitter at all that I get to run in these spider forests. Oh my gosh. Did I just, yeah, I did see a spider come down from above. Oh my gosh. At least we didn't get eaten. What now? Oh my gosh. Can you not dragon Avis? Is it Avis who's turned into a dragon Avis? If you remember the guy from the beginning, he died pretty quickly, but... Not this time! Sick on top of Get him! Get the boy! Don't anger me! Get him, boy! Quick! They've been going 
good. You know what to do, boy. I absolutely love Garuda. There it shreds the the stagger meter. Absolutely shreds. Sick of Togo. They should have fixed that animation. Hmm. Well, it don't matter. We know that it was supposed to be a hand to the fur. Okay, so we're going over there. And nothing new. Ooh, Jill! <laughs> I don't know why I'm always getting, like, a bit irritated getting two gil, really. Because I don't know how much money we should be having at this point. Northridge. Maybe money is scarce in this game and... scarce in this game and I really will need a bunch of it. Oh, how much I love this sword. It goes so well with the outfit. Belly matter. This is beautiful. Okay, don't wanna mess with me. There, boy! Don't let them get away! Maybe in these, like, when there's, like, a cluster of enemies, I should use ignition. I'd think about that. Sick of Togo. Yeah. Nothing else behind my back. Oh my god, the scenery is so beautiful. I could like oh, just start the game to just go around and sightsee. Oh, oh, there was a raptor here. Oh, so dinosaurs aren't extinct, and we didn't make them go extinct. Look at this! Wow! This is so nice! Okay, I didn't see any loot, so let's just head to this castle wall. The soldiers used to speak of a brothel, but that was north of the checkpoint. Uh, I hope the dame has friends in the south. Clive, what would well, you know? Good. Uh, back off, Branded. Can't you see I'm with a customer? I'm a customer too, oh, idiot! All from the Sea of Grace this very moment. Oh my gosh. I do not like how the branded are treated. Right to confiscate any objects forbidden by the throne. How much? But also, Clive is so nice about it. I'd be freaking fuming. Oh, 
That's just the way I am. As soon as I see some kind of discrimination, it's just... I just get so mad. And what can I do for you? Uh, well, you've not got anything that I want. Mm. I'll be here and I'm not gonna buy me. potions. You want something, you come back with your master. I won't sell to some stray branded. I want to headbutt him, but then I'm gonna go to jail, right? Huh? Is that fancy lady the dame? Let me see her outfit. It looked nice. Oh, it's very, very beautiful. A moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. Wait, is she a... Mistake. Is she? No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? No, oh, because he has a wife. You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. Go away! <laughs> you can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? Very trustworthy trust person. Me, yes, but why would you? Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear well, since friends are, are our friends, to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested, unless, unless, <laughs> unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes. That will do nicely. Lady, uh, back off. Back off. I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? No physical touch. Mm -mm. No emotional either. He has a wife, lady. Can't you just respect that? And Clive, you should also say that. The freak. <laughs> I know you guys aren't official, but we know. We all know. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today. It is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. She's super pretty, though. And that dress, oh my god, Madame. give it to me. Back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Hey, Oi, she... Hold up. What? What? I was with her. 
You want a fight? Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Didn't you see the brand Get out of my sight. before? Filth. Oh my gosh. Can we just slap them across the face? You just once? Or twice? That wasn't so bad. For you it wasn't. wasn't. So bad. They might have recognized me. That too. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Okay, I'm not gonna ask about her business. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. No, we don't seem to have much of a choice. Uh, make for the veal. Oh, oh, okay. Torgal, at least you're with me. Can I pick these flowers for my wife? No, I couldn't. Okay, then. Not an option. Seen you around the veil of late. Oh, don't tell me you've grown tired of us. Uh, it's not that. The garrisons are being called back to the capital. Where to join the legions? We know exactly what kind of business this is. Well, whatever works for you, oh, dame. The markets are a veritable. Myth. And she seems to be pulling some strings, also. She seems to have some kind of power. Because Sid's friends seem like a powerful bunch. Let's just see what she can provide us with without anything physical. Anything else we can loot? I mean, we don't know what will happen if we're just gonna leave this place right after a conversation at the veal. Veil. Veil or veal? No. Veal is an animal, right? And veil is what that is. Oh, what, what, what is this? Daily regime, roll call, morning prayer, rounds, the striking dummies, midday rations, the butts, armored sparring, kit maintenance, groundskeeping, and roll call. Whose job is this? Sounds boring. Oh, I see something glittering. It's over there. I need to get it. Need to get it. Just wait, it's gonna be too Jill. Okay, a potion. Good. Very, very good. Ooh. What is that? Hmm. There was one of those mother crystals as well. I think, or it's just very much ether in a crystal. Maybe they got these crystals from that big one there. Should we just head over and talk? Wait a minute. Got two. Propi propi what? Proprietress of the Veal, Northridge for foremost house of ill repute and one of Sid's trusted collaborators. Is Isabel is much admired by the populace for her elegance and refinement, qualities that have earned her the title The Dame. Okay, proprietress. Okay, that's the word. Let's just go talk with her until I butcher another text.
And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. What's happening here? Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome Don't darling me. To the veil. Is this why we are alone and Jill is not here? <laughs> well, it's for the better. Don't wanna upset her. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question... I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. You accept the moon and stars. Ooh. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Okay, lady. I should probably start here. Well, she do mean business. If the dame has given you her trust, then you have ours as well. No, you are always welcome here at the Vale. Well, only to talk, nothing else. There seems to be quests here. Excuse me. Three of them. You there? I yeah. cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So, you are... An associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Mm. Why not? Marvelous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. Uh, okay. Should we trust him, Clive? Mm. I mean, he wouldn't go against the dame now, would he? Well then, I suppose you're here. Go over here. If these guys let me pass. Yes, they do. With the right to confiscate any objects, 
I see it from the far away. Like a plum, the apple of your eye. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind, whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right, quickly now, before the guards notice. Heavy purse. Oh, I didn't read what was in it. <sighs> that is no bad. Do I want to know? Back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best, specially distilled from our most discerning customers. The guards find that, they'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. If Etienne likes it, tell him there's more where that came from. For a price, of course. Of course. What are we giving them? This pair not be some kind of drugs. We've read why Because we could be in big, big trouble. No one's allowed through the gate the into the fresh say these are all from There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Oh, I'm so Should... sick of this. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. I accidentally slapped the mic. Uh, every jones and jostle of this unexceptional leather sack is accompanied by an early mel melodic tinkling that is likely okay let's just give it well, why didn't you say so <laughs> times are hard but this here will make them less so for a while at least sorry about the welcome I meant nothing by it you wait right here Here. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oroflam's finest. Just as promised. Hey. Now to the herbalist. And the herbalist is probably gonna be rude to me as well. I have no business with Branded. Well, I have business with you. A package. Fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. Rude. This is... Lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Have you seen my if sword? If any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars. The audacity. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. Oh, worth more than my life. Someone has expensive tastes. Question I'm is, a freaking prince. How can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. Actually, probably a king soon. Hmm. That's the day done then. I will have all your heads. I sound exactly like the Queen of Hearts in Alice in Wonderland. Yay, Clive! We're gonna become the Queen of Hearts. Ah, you have returned. I believe these are yours. Everything. There you go. Delightful. Now what's in it for me? The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? What was it? No need oh, to be coy, my I boy. I knew it. Why not just tell me in the first place? It was the sound. This man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. 
After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the wall gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. Look at his face. How can you trust him? Were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. Let's see what the payment for my life was. Hmm? 1,000, really? For my life? And this? What? Properly treated with urine, lime salt and a lengthy soak in chocable brains? Ew! Ew! Gross, Etienne! Gross! Well, that's what we're worth, Clive! Ho ho ho! They should know soon enough that you're gonna be a king! Favorably. To the Vale, then! I, I don't you? know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Oh, wait, he doesn't know who we are, right? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraqua society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right, but what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers, and yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin, simple fare costs little more than a pittance, but to revel in the suffering of others, a simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. Fine. What do you need me to do? Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. An extra meal? What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed, not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes, and for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the Dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then. I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. Good knowing you, Matteo. I hope you don't die or something, because you seem like a good person. Very good person. Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. Exactly. Good to see good people. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! 
Should we just end like him? Now's not the time. <sighs> we could just like hit him a little bit on the head, make him faint, and then give the bearer his meal. You look like you need a rest. There you go. Not half as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. Did you already eat, mister? Okay. Or do you just gonna sneakily eat it? Okay, we can't give it to that guy. Mm. Do we have to do something else before? Because he's still healing that soldier. Can we, like, distract the soldier some way? Something over there. Oh, here. I have something for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to rest? Stow those damn flames! And you! It was my fault. If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. How about you shut the F up? Before I use my sword. Uh, well, the day more no one else would like that, but I just keep calm, cool, and collected. Clive is doing that much better than I am. Trash you! Get away from me! Oh my god! Yeah, you'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you. Yeah, it looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you, but alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I have wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. That's what my hunger. Thank you, though. My heart breaks for these bearers. The drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. You're probably sad Good seeing boy. this as well. There, some pets for Torgal. Sergeant's got it in for us. Where's your commanding officer, Branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. But I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That was the I'll one. Why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The Dane laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earn that brooch? They want a fight! Not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the Dame's being properly looked after. 
Fine with me. <sighs> Fine. If Let's uh, whoop them. Ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. I hold Take back a, a little get bit. Ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. <laughs> These guys are funny. They're so funny. Hmm. They're gonna get so whooped. They're gonna get so whooped. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? Let's go. If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right. Let's be having you. Who's been cocky all the time? I mean, it hasn't been Clive. Maybe me, because I know his skills. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. I'll tell her you freaking died. The dirty tricks you won. And you were really bad. Right. So you know one end of a problem from here. He's getting absolutely shredded. Not even one single hit. You suck. <sighs> Fuck me. Bye bye. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? They're so bearer. freaking cocky. The favor, By knowing when Look at this, it is. Oh, right, I can't use it. Come on, now we have Garuda. Now we have another Garuda. Flames to me! Bye, sent you flying. Only bested, not slain? <laughs> really? Can I go now? Gregor's gas! The bastard didn't even break a sweat! The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullet he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> at least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favour. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? Oh, zero. Zero. I will tell her no such lies. Weaklings. The Emperor's finest. Right. <laughs> Look at the text. <laughs> Losers. There's a bard here as well. There was Isabella, I think. I remember the dress, the pretty dress. All right. Are you here for business or pleasure? Business. Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well, I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So Could you we be really worried? Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Vow's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people round here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> uh, 
I better be going. Oh, he's so awkward. I love it. <laughs> he's like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> love it. Hmm. Well, I think it's time to save soon. Just get some points out. We switch out this one to Ignition or Willow Whites. I want to try them both, actually. I did try Heat Wave in um, training. But I don't think it uh, it's good right now. All right, this is the end of this episode. Thank you much for watching and bye bye.